everybody, Jeff, your executive gardener. Hey, this episode's on uh, hydroponic growing of food. Uh, I have two towers that I'm going to show you. I'll get behind the counter and give you a, a close-up. But I'm growing things like onions in them, lettuce, uh, radishes, and so forth. Uh, if you are not growing hydroponically, there's a lot of towers you can buy. I'll show you three different towers that I own. And uh, i got to tell you, it's just a wonderful way to grow food. Less pests. You can easier, easily, <laughs> easier to control the nutrients that go in and out of the plants. Uh, you use coconut core, and you can set a regular timer to make sure your plants, your vegetables, maybe fruit, are getting watered several times a day. So I'm going to show you my three hydroponic towers. Um, I did some trials between growing stuff in the soil versus hydroponically, and quite frankly, much of the stuff that I'll show you it's much easier to grow, much faster to grow hydroponically. It's a little bit of an investment to set up. I'll show you the three different uh, hydroponic stations I have, and I'll give you the cost of each. You can make your own decision whether it's worthwhile. So a little bit of an investment up front, but after you make the investment, it's more than worth it. So I'll, th I'll show you my three hydroponic stations here in a second. Stay tuned. So what you're looking is the first of three hydroponic stations that I have. I got this about... A year and a half ago and you'll see it's several layers I think there's 15 10, 12 to 15 growing stations at the base is a uh, five gallon tank which I fill with nutrients it pumps up the nutrient solution to the top there's a pump at the top you'll see there that releases water it's hooked up to a timer it waters three minutes every hour uh, and the nutrients are filled with grow solution but uh, I'll show you some of the stuff I have some baby pepper plants you'll see there they're doing extremely well very green uh, uh, very nourished and you'll see here this is just standard coconut core that I have in here very soft allows water to flow through nutrients to get through the plants seem to love it here's a brand new piece, uh, cabbage plant that I put in here it's just doing remarkable I had a hard time growing it in soil with great nutrients in soil but nothing like this hydroponic station and look at this lucky here this head of lettuce, I mean, it does not get any more gorgeous than this. Uh, and there's a red sail, uh, younger head of lettuce down there. You can see that I have radishes that are growing right there, doing very well. Um, I have some herbs growing. And um, you'll see, I'm going to scoot over here, excuse me a second. And again, another beautiful head of lettuce that's growing. I mean, just look at that. This thing grew really fast, too. It grew in like... Uh, month and a half, two months in this hydroponic, but lettuce looks great, nice head. It's another younger head of lettuce there, and another uh, cat down there. So this is the first uh, station. This thing uh, cost about uh, $400 to buy with everything. So uh, a little bit more expensive, but really steady, really good. And it's got 12 growing stations. I'd say you grow anything in here probably 30% faster than if you would in standard soil. Just my experience. So this is my second grow station. This one was much cheaper, less than $100, maybe 80 bucks. They are simply, if you look under Mr. Stacky, S-T-A-C-K-Y online, you can buy these. Again, I filled them with coconut core. Um, and I put some, um, it's good to put some pebbles or rocks in there to allow uh, water to flow through. But same concept, five gallon lows bucket below pumps up through the top I made this myself and what I have here you'll see some this is really young cabbage that's starting to take off and what I've, I started experimenting with is actually onions so I bought some sweet Texas onions here you'll see and uh, they weren't growing at all quite frankly in soil but now they're starting to take off really well in this hydroponic uh, Mr. Stocky solution and uh, you see I've got some herbs there this is actually some lettuce growing from seed and some other onions that are growing so uh, again, this is, this is uh, you know, you could do this relatively inexpensively on the cheap, about 80 bucks total, but, um, and this has, hmm, I guess you can plant about 9 to 12 plants in here as well. This is actually hooked up to the same timer and goes off about 2 to 3 minutes every hour, and it's regulated, but uh, I love this one as well. This is a much more affordable, it's a quarter of the price than the other one, and let me show you my last one. So this is the third one. This one is probably at a price point between the first one and last one. This was actually built uh, for, uh, from a friend of mine. Um, just got it about a week or two ago. 
and uh, it is a tower of power. Wait till you see this thing. It can grow, I think there's 15, 16 stations in here. And let me let you take a look at this. Look at that thing. Goes up, keeps going up, keeps going up. So uh, what I've done here, uh, Alex has built this for me. This is to grow pickling cucumbers. He knows I'm a big a fan of the cucumber and pickling in them. And we're doing an experiment. You'll see a five gallon bucket there, but there's also a separate reservoir here. So I think this is a five gallon to 10 gallon tote, which the solution stays in. You'll see the solution is pumped up from a pump that's in here. It goes up the tube all the way to the top. And he's got some sprayers there that a lot spray it and it drips down all the way to hits all the roots of all these plants and then is captured in the orange bucket and then in a spigot it goes back into uh, this basin here so quite an experiment uh, he's going to build in a, a net lattice for me as well and what that net lattice will do is it will allow the cucumber as the vines grow out to attach to that lattice that lattice so um you know i can get the pickles and keep things under control but I'll show you one of these plants, a little dirty, but doing really well, um, starting to grow, and um, I'm working with Alex on this, and we've had a few issues, this is a brand new uh, um, tower for him, I hope he does really well with it, we've had a few issues, we're making some adjustments, but overall things uh, seem to be growing nicely right now, but uh, anyway, this is a, uh, a tower of power. And he made a base for me as well there to keep it steady. So I'll give you updates as this goes on, but I think this one by Alex may end up being my favorite. Now, what I do not use in here, and I'll just give you a look up close, I do not use a coconut core. This is a simple hydroponic solution with a rock wall cube and then this clay tone pellets in here. And, uh, and then inside of it, you'll see is, is it's kind of open and that's where the water drips down and the roots are in here. So all the roots get sprayed. All of my rock wall cubes are relatively uh, moist, so it means that it is watering appropriately. And I'll follow this as it goes. Now this thing uh, goes off, it's on a special timer Alex built for me. It goes off about every 15 minutes, every hour. So this is a 15 minute timer. And the key with this is to keep the roots moist, but not soaked. So the roots stay wet, about 15 minutes of the hour and then they're sprayed again so again with the same high nutrient solution so these are growing relatively quickly as you see here they're a nice shade of green they're very healthy and i'll give you an update with the pickle, pickles but this is uh what i have going on here hope you've enjoyed this video please share it with your friends uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it this is jeff the executive gardener signing out